All right, guys, I'm out here. It's about dark. I'm gonna uh, just hang a couple cameras this evening. Uh, some of y'all might remember this place, but uh, some of you may not. But uh, this is where I had a blind last year. It's a shooting lane. Uh, there's pines on one side, hardwoods on the other, and then a lane right down the middle. There's been some annual clover in here that usually comes back every year, but it's about dwindled out. It was about gone last year. Uh, so I think I'm gonna plant some wheat and some turnips on it this year and uh, I'm gonna set my blind up in the same spot it was last year. I was gonna set my blind up tonight, but I forgot my uh, knife to cut my twine with to tie it down to keep the wind from pulling the stakes up. So uh, I'm just gonna hang the cameras today and uh, call it good i don't know if y'all be able to see it yeah y'all can a little bit it's about dark but uh right down through there is the shooting lane it's about 110 yards long maybe at the most but uh i'm gonna put my camera i mean my blind right here so uh i'm gonna bush hog this and disc it up real good and then uh i'm gonna plant some stuff in it but i'm just gonna hang the camera for this evening to see what's coming through here because there were some good young bucks on it last year, but uh, we're going to see what they've turned into this year, if they've even come back around. So we've got about a month till velvet season, about a month and a half till regular bow season. So uh, we're going to go ahead and start getting ready for hunting season. bush hog the shooting lane i'm gonna put my blind right there i left it growed up right here to leave me a little cover around the blind i bush hog me a road back around through there to get in then i also got that good road right there coming in this a little bit wider but the main part up there that that comes off of is pretty rutted so we'll probably be using that more than anything but uh i'm gonna put this blind up right there and this spot's gonna be about ready I'm probably going to plant some greens some greens in it, but that'll be next week for, a, or it'll be when the bearings for the disc come in to get it going, so we got to wait on that to come in for even start getting ready to plant, so. What y'all just seen was me uh, cutting up the food plots. I planted two of them the other day. I know it's been a while since I made a video, but uh, I've just been wide open all the time, working and stuff like that. But we got about a week till bow season opens. I hunted the velvet season. I, I didn't see anything. I think I got a couple clips from that that I may try to throw in at the end of this video. But uh, I'm going to set up one deer blind now I've already set up one, but I gotta put the wind ties down on it, and I'm about to set this one up and do the wind ties. But uh, y'all uh, stay tuned, and I'm gonna see this field right here. I've always hunted it in the evenings during both season. I always see deer out here in October and early November in the evenings. And uh, I don't know if I'm gonna put this blind up there at the top of the hill and face back this way down here and face that way it just depends on which one looks better because uh i think the deer are coming out up there more but uh i have seen a bunch of deer down here but these beans are pretty tall this year so i don't know if i'd be able to see one so i may be putting it up up there at the hill where i can see down in here and the deer will be coming out up there so y'all just stay tuned and we'll see where we put it
right, guys. I got my blind right there up under that tree. And uh, that right there is going to be the view of it. I'm going to park. There's a, a trail down there by the channel. I'm going to walk down through here to get in this blind. Uh, the ground's so hard, I don't think I'm going to be able to get any wind ties in. But with it being so hard and we ain't got no rain in the forecast for the next week or two. So I think I'm just going to leave it like it is and hunt out of it. And uh, season opens Saturday. This is Tuesday. I think I'm going to come down here Friday and sit in it Friday evening and just watch this field. The deer like to come out right there. You see the beans are kind of dead. The deer have eat them down. And uh, that's, I was going to put it up there, but the deer like to walk out up there and work their way down. And uh, if I sit up there, they'll be coming out right on top of me. So this is where I've been putting it every year. And a lot of times deer will come out right there too. So I don't think I should have any trouble. So uh, this is where we're going to see it. I got a shooting house way out there that I hunt out of during rifle season. But uh, it's too far of a shot across here for a bow. But anyway, uh, there's either a squirrel or a deer or something over there cutting up. But uh, I think that's going to be about it for this one. Y'all uh, subscribe and uh, I'll probably film Friday afternoon when I sit out here. So y'all can stick around for that one. And uh, this weekend's the opening weekend of both seasons. So y'all can look forward to the deer hunting videos to start rolling out.